Let me first uh, start by saying uh, uh, how much I enjoyed this series and uh, how pissed I am. I can't watch episode eight right now. Oh, dude, wait till you see it. It's 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 uh, it is everything. <laughs> episode eight is my favorite. Well, my, my question, and this is not a spoiler related thing, but you HBO Max and you you sent out the first seven of the eight episodes. Was episode eight held back because VFX are not done or because of spoilers? Spoilers. I wouldn't okay. let them put out eight. They wanted to put out all eight. I said, no way, no chance in hell are we putting out all eight. I, there's just too many things happen in episode eight that I just, I could not let it get out there. It would absolutely be spoiled. You know, um, I wouldn't even let them give it to like one place or anything like that because it just wasn't, it's just, I didn't want it to be out there. No, I completely understand. Um, uh, you mentioned, I'm just going to throw this out there. You mentioned previously that you were doing another DC or thinking about another DC project besides Peacemaker. Since no one's recording this, any chance you want to tell me? <laughs> uh, uh, you know, we're, 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 we're stepping forward. It keeps happening. So we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see what's happening. And uh, I'll know what's happening very shortly. I dealt with it uh, last night and this morning. So is it, can I ask if it's TV or movie? TV. There you okay. go. I won't, thank you. I won't <laughs> press you any further. So I fucking love the opening credits. And I am just curious, how long have you been holding Do You Want to Taste It by Wigwam in your pocket for a project? <laughs> well, I've always liked that song. I didn't, I never knew that I was going to use it, but somehow it did come to me instantly when I, you know, I started keeping long before the show, before I started writing the show, when I was just like planning out the show. Um, I started keeping a, a hair metal list of songs that I wanted to use. And that was right at the top of the list. And so it really came, it seemed perfect for the show. I mean, the lyrics were perfect. The sound of it was perfect. Um, and, uh, and I knew it would make for a great uh, dance routine at the beginning of the show in an effort to vanquish the skip forward button so that all the wonderful people that were so hard on the show could have their names be seen uh, by the the folks at home. It is. I've watched. I've watched seven episodes. I've watched those opening credits in every episode because they're so good. Uh, please tell me you have a longer version of it. <laughs> I don't. I do not have a longer version. But I do love. Yeah. Uh, you know, one of the things I love about it is how it plays differently. You watch it in episode one, oh, or you yes. watch it in episode seven where you're coming out of a totally different kind of scene. It plays completely differently. Um, and that's one of the things that I love about it. That was the choreography was done by a woman named Carissa Barton, um, who got right away what I wanted to do with it and was a fantastic collaborator. Um, so I love Eagly, like everyone else is going to love Eagly. At any point during the shoot, were you like, what the hell was I thinking putting a bald eagle as his partner? No, I loved it. I knew he was going to steal the show. I'm like, I'm like, take it from the guy who had baby Groot and, or even the first Groot, you know, the first group, when we had him on set, like everybody just took it for granted that this guy was there. And then all of a sudden the movie comes out and everybody loves this character that nobody gave two thoughts about on set. And I'm like, Eagly's going to steal the show. Everybody's going to love Eagly. I'm like, you were great in that scene, Jen. You were amazing. But unfortunately, you're in the scene with Eagly. So he's the one that people are going to be talking about in that scene. So they just have to deal with it. Eagly's the true star of the show. Uh, how was it? Because uh, you've obviously come from working in lower budget environments and you've worked in massive budget environments. When you were writing Peacemaker, was there any thought in your mind about the budget or were you sort of just writing with whatever the hell you wanted to write and I'll deal with it later? No, I think I, I, I innately think about budget while I'm writing, uh, always. Um, and uh, even something like as big budgeted as... Uh, of is volume three is still a struggle. You know, it's still a struggle to make it fit the budget because uh, you know, like a movie to be half a billion dollars. And if I had half a billion dollars, I could kind of do pretty close to what I want. Um, <laughs> so, so <laughs> that's, that's how hard it is. I'm always having to think about budget and make concessions because of budget, but oftentimes it leads to good things. You know, you oftentimes are forced to rethink something and you have to come up with a creative solution. And so usually I think those budget considerations uh, make a difference. And we had a very good budget on Peacemaker, you know, um, 
you know, uh, you know, so, but, you know, but it isn't Suicide Squad. Sure. Um, and, uh, and also we didn't have the time, you know, it's time too. I mean, I had to shoot eight episodes before uh, I went and shot uh, Guardians and I didn't have all the time you know, in the world to do that. And it's, especially since a couple of changes that came up that I had to reach the shuffle and we went a little bit longer than I originally intended to go. Um, so uh, yeah, but yes, the answer is yes. I do think a little bit about budget. It's not a low budget show by any stretch of the imagination, um, but it also, you know, I had to think a little bit about what we were shooting and when. Well, that, that's the other thing and is that with a movie, you might have three days to shoot something in a Peacemaker, you probably have to get it done in one day. That's right. Yes, that is, that's totally true, you know, or, you know, for a couple of days or whatever, you know, I mean, our action sequences, we try to take the time with them, you know, um, I, you know, I have a philosophy on, on movie making that is uh, probably my, my, my best contribution to filmmaking. And that is uh, you take half of your movie to shoot the first two acts and the other half of the, the movie, you shoot the third act. Um, that is the way that a third act works better than the first two acts. And most movies don't do it. They structure the same amount of time the eighty structures the same amount of time through the whole, you know, movie for uh, a scene, you know, but I think that for a movie to really build, you need more time to shoot the third act. And I did that here too, just with some of the action sequences, we took a little more time. And then the eighth episode is pretty enormous. It's enormous. C cannot wait. Um, I'm in my last minute. So of course, I'm gonna ask you, uh, how is the shoot going for Guardians 3 and what can you tease fans? Um, it's going great. You know, uh, Chuck Woody who plays Mern in Peacemaker is, one of the main characters in the movie and people are freaking out over how good this guy is like literally freaking out. Um, and so I think that uh, I'm really happy. I gave a bunch of scenes to uh, Marvel at the beginning of uh, at the beginning, right before Christmas break. And, uh, and, uh, and Kevin went, you know, they're all really, really, really stoked, but also it's not going to be the movie people. It's, it's different than what people are going to expect. But it's uh, it's 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 a hard road. But I'm really happy with it so far. Are you filming? Have you started filming the holiday special yet, or is that still upcoming in the shoot? It's still upcoming in the shoot. Uh, we were supposed to shoot in um, uh, one day in LA, uh, and that you know there's too much Omicron around, so uh, we couldn't do it. Um, so we're gonna have to fit it <laughs> fit it in. I haven't started yet. I'm excited to. It's fun. It's like the 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 uh, the. The holiday special is like, I'm almost jealous of it, even though I wrote it because people freak out so much on how much they love the script for the holiday special that, that I'm almost like, well, wait, I've got this movie here. I've been working on for two years. Well, you love the holiday special that I literally wrote in a very short amount of time, but you know, it is really funny and really good. Your, your name's on both. You're going to still get credit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, um, listen, I got to wrap. I'm just going to say congrats on the series for real. And I wish you nothing but the best. Thanks, dude. I'll talk to you soon. Take cool. care. Later. Bye.